Hi guys, I wanted to make this uh, video very short uh, because I want to show you guys uh, the class and the, the class uh, is like a class guide. It's going to be a raw video, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be an edit video. I want to show you guys uh, a raw footage about the class system and which class is the best because there are YouTubers there uh, that put out videos, but I want to show the family uh, you guys like. Uh, what's the best class uh if you want to play this game what, what best classes you you can go for so the game that i'm playing is world zero and um if the game is a little bit lag it's because i'm also rendering another video of my vlogging of my vlogging channel so uh, i'm doing two at once because y'all know i don't have a lot of time so y'all see how hard i work but um we're not getting off drift here. So, we got a bunch of classes. I got the demon class, <clears throat> the dual wielder is my favorite class, and the demon and the paladins. <clears throat> Sorry. So, right about, right about, right out of the gate, the demon class, I want to explain, right? I want to explain uh, what's what and what you need to get. Um, like, what you need to get, right? So, we can um we, we're just gonna go my dual wielder so i can explain it in a better way because some class i can switch to some classes and show you guys uh what's what um i'm just, i'm maybe i'm gonna demonstrate i don't know for sure but um i don't know so but let's stand over here i will explain to you actually what's what so <clears throat> this game is a uh i'm not a I'm not a player that been in the on the beta or whatever. I'm just a player that knows MMO games and what's best, fastness, speed, and momentum, and good DPS. That's all I know. And quest fast. That's all we want. Questing fast with a good a good amount of DPS and so on. So we're gonna go in the class system. So in my opinion, Swordmaster is basically a, a preference if you wanna be that class because this class right here is actually none other than. Yeah, it's just none other than slash attacks. It doesn't have any ultimate. It has a you, you called it. It's like a venturing sweep, um, but I don't know the name of the class. The name of the leap slash like, but it's 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 a pierce like in in most uh, MMO games. It's like like a pierce skin, so you can just like reduce the armor. You could say, but here it is leap slash. So I wouldn't pick this class this is, this is basically your class you don't want to pick really you don't want to only if you really want to but it only has three attacks that's it so no ultimate which sucks so don't pick this class i'm just telling you don't pick this class uh the rk mage i cannot be but we can all get over the skills i've been an rk mage um which is not bad it's not a bad class but again it doesn't have an ultimate uh, three abilities, one cast on the ground, and one is like an orb that stands by your side and uh, deals damage. That's it. It's, it's, it's just basically, literally a swordsman, but only a mage. The mage form. The defender, the exact same thing. Um, it's, it has a world, it has a spin and a ground smash. That's basically it. It doesn't really do anything. So it's it's literally going to spin and a ground smash and that's it. So none other than other, you, you don't really want to be those classes. You, you don't really want to be those uh, starter classes. But <clears throat> if you're looking at if we're looking at the other classes, like the elementalist is a pretty good decent class to start with. Like if you if you uh, love um, to be a mage, you can be. Uh, like the rotation for a mage basically. If we talk about, um, if we talk about like, um, uh, like rotation to boss fights or enemy mobs, uh, first press your E and then try to push your, uh, your F and then your R if you group them all up. Because, uh, what is, what's, what's it doing if you don't know, um, since I'm a mage, I know a lot about mage. So this ice field, um, uh, this, uh, spikes on the ground inflicted frost so this basically it's a root so it roots the enemy um let's say enemy comes towards you and you press the e button they will they will be rooting so they will be stuck 
for for maybe a brief amount of seconds. So while they're stuck, you can pressure F. With, your F will go up. It will cast, and then you can nuke them down with the fireball, which is your R. So that's basically the load, the 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 way you should do it. And then they have like a really nice um, ultimate, which is a very strong ultimate. It's uh, I will go over it. It's called the uh, Storm, rain down with power uh, with the power of the ele elements, inflict super frost. So basically, it's just a meter strike destruction. So I can show you right here. Um, this is basically how it is. It's like this, but it changes. So right now, probably because I'm in a frost world, it's gonna be frost, and if I'm in the world one, it's gonna be a firestorm. Uh, or a, a, a uh, what is it called? A meteor. And if I'm in another state, it's going to be something else. So, uh, mages element shift on worlds. Go so keep that in mind. All right. So, yeah. Based on worlds, that's going to be your ultimate. The Guardian. Uh, the Guardian is, 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 again, one of those classes that needs some, somebody with him. Um, because <clears throat> based on the Guardian, uh, what you can do, like, basically, yeah, the Guardian doesn't have to have somebody um like those classes with dps you can just swap a healer pet uh pet and just go for it like the only thing what i would say about the guardian is that um having this this raw like being in like having a raw uh thing right here is um what do you call it? you aggro these enemies like basically so you aggro these enemies and you will you know they will <clears throat> they're not be focused on you but you will gain 50 percent damage resistance so basically you're you are going in rage basically so unbeatable couple of seconds you could say so the abilities are e for let them come to you you press the f for slice and dicing them and then they're gonna finish up with the ground up so you see how slow it is it's really slow um again rotation if you if you don't want to group them all up you just press e is the aoe so that is that's a big aoe or you can press like the r which they're gonna come to you and then press the f to finish it off so that's basically it and the stance on a guardian is just the nicest but it's just the sl it's just the slow momentum that's why it's just annoying to be those classes. So, if you love slowness um, and you know, not really go in, just a little bit stay in the middle. This is your class to, to be because the it's it's slow. All right, you can see this; it's very slow. <clears throat> if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's just how it is. Um, here is the dual wield, which almost everybody is, and I'm gonna s explain why i was playing with elsa online not elsa on, but not elsa online it's not a game with uh, a girl that i know elsa she's uh pretty good uh with mmos anime whatever off topic uh we played together and i saw that her dps was on the lower level very strong so i was like how is that possible so um this class is very beginning beginner friendly so what do you do is basically you pressure E, which um, which buffs you up. So your E increases the temp to the max and second time crit rate. So two times crit rate. So what does that mean? Is that everything that you do in this in this four second, it's gonna lethal. It's lethal damage. That's my video that's just got done. Um, <clears throat> so it's lethal damage. So what I use what I do is that I go buff i go in cap and then use the slash so this that's basically the slash will do uh multiple damage to the target so you can hit like uh, a group of enemies the combat is very fast so if you also if you are in e mode it's gonna go you know you see that that's really fast that's faster than the other one now it goes down you see that so and the ultimate is very nice so the ultimate name is um the ultimate name is let's go to the here it's called blade dance 
uh, breach your enemy def uh, defense with the uh, with this 28 hit combo, which I will show you, which is this. You see that? So you will automatically do this combo in between with that. So it's very, very, very strong. But what I would say is that having a good uh, DPS comes with a price. This class will not will out will do less damage on the higher level content based on your gear or whatever it's gonna uh, it's, it's not gonna outperform a berserker i just want to say that a berserker will do the most amount of damage but it's slow so it's slower than uh the dual wield so dual wield is it's it's fine the momentum the speed is very fine but if you go to other classes they are like this this you know they are very slow so keep that in mind if you don't like that the dual, the dual wield needs somebody with him to do the most amount of DPS. So basically, a dual wield is for trash mobs and, uh, you know, small mobs. And the berserker is for bigger, bigger mobs, basically. Well, how I use that, because it, the dual wield is kind of squishy. I use my, um, my pet, which is the pet all as the legendary. It will heal. I got bonus pick up food. The resistance knockdown, resistance burn. So, but what I do is that till, till it extend. If my health drops down, um, keep in mind, I have a uh, gap closer so I can escape real fast. So, you know, you can just escape with the R if you press it good. Like if you get chased, you can always skip. Um, what I do is that I, I use the number one and heal myself. It's a good heal. It's, it's a really strong heal. So I will do that. And it's just basically a survival momentum. On your weapon, you can have like lifesteal or health regeneration, stuff like that. Uh, bonus health regeneration and all that good stuff will benefit you too to go survival mode. That's basically what I can say about this class. All right. So keep in mind, keep in mind, that's what I, that's what you should run as a dual wield, um, in my opinion, to be survival mode. Um, so the Berserker. I cannot pick the class, but it's a decent class, high damage. But what I said, again, it has, the abilities are very good. It's a very strong class overall, very, very good. But it's just, in my opinion, a little bit slow. That's basically all of it. But if you like the way, the, the, the movement, because <clears throat> I think if I didn't been dual wield, I, I preferred Berserker. But because I switched to dual wield and I played dual wield because of the fast m movement, I have a hard time picking another class. That's basically what happened. So, because of how fast the overworld is. Paladins, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's crack on to Paladins. Paladins is a unique class, in my opinion. It's, it is okay, it's auto movement is all right. Um, the thing is that you have a block uh, with the E, so you have to time your block. It's on a really fast cooldown, so you can spam it. Um, the self heal is very strong with the bird, so you are, almost unkillable you could say and the f is basically um, it does a lot of damage so let's go over the skills uh the skills uh the blocks are block reflex so if, if you get the block right uh they will get um some damage like you know like counter basically like simuliotis um and the light and uh, good light is basically just selfie immediately you and the ally so your teammate is also going to get healed. It's very strong. Um, fire, light, and a distance enemy entire light sword mode for one swing. Uh, cooldown 11 seconds. So this basically gives you an imp. So it doesn't really say it, but it gives you an imp. So if you buff, if you do this, now it's going to destroy these enemies faster. You can see your sword is glowing. And it's, it's, really, it, it's like uh, being a dual wielder. Using your buff, but longer, you could say. Um, so keep that in mind. The ultimate is very strong. Uh, the ultimate is a... Uh, it says, taking, da uh, taking damage heals, your, uh, heals your allies in uh, enter light sword mode, blah, 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 blah. So basically, what's this not ally is also you. Um, Ring, of Just Ring of Justice is like... When you, it's like a panic mode. So let's say the boss does a lot of damage and you need, you're already, your healer is down, everybody's down, and you'll, you'll be like, oh my god, what do I need to do? You can press 
this and if you get hit by a mob right now you get health back you get immediately health back so there is no there is no other thing you just get health back so you will not die so and in order your cooldown will go go back up so you can press your air your r and your f so basically templar is very strong so this is your go-to class it is a very strong class don't underestimate this class it's very strong um the mage of light is just your typical healer so it's, yeah it's it, it grants a shield um also what i saw an enemy or that's not an enemy but a person was flying into the sky and healing us with a shield which can be very helpful very very helpful so if you want to go healer it's the healers are very good they can also debuffs are very good and your demon class so for the demon class i want to switch to the demon class so i want to explain to you why i think the demon class is being over hyped so keep in mind this is a unedited video i just wanted to get the word out there so y'all have uh, a, a opinion about the game and um because i played it i'm an mmo player and an fps player but i love mmo so that's that so keep that in mind i'm gonna level up a paladins and i'm gonna main a paladins that's why a paladins is there um but we're gonna jump on the demon so i bought the 800 root bucks yes i did it all right so i spent the money on the root bucks and because people were like oh demon class blah 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 right but i was like what is so strong about the demon class so basically the, the, the demon class is not strong there it's 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 overall a balanced class just, just keep it like that the only the only thing why people are hyping this class up is because the stance so basically if you press q you're gonna stand if you press q again it, it's she hovers that's it the class is the class itself it has a demonic stance switch so it switched between single target and and multi-target so that's basically like this is your single target pressing e it goes further away that's that so if you press here f it's gonna life steal so your f button is basically your button for dps so your f button uh touch your enemy and damage so basically the life steal this one is the uh, r button but life steal this this is the ability why people are uh, demon because if you press that button uh, the enemies that's getting being hit you are draining their health away and attacking them you understand that so that's why people are demon and of, of course for the demon price so you turn yourself into a big demon and transform into a crazy demon stuff which you already seen that's basically it nothing else so the demon class is overall a balanced class life stealing class that's it so there is no there is no class there's no like wow factor right the only thing again it hovers it can turn into a demon and life still that's it nothing else all right so it's not like oh my god it's the best class in the game it's not it's not the only reason why you could say it's the best class because it's life still but it's not the, it's, it's not the best it's not all right so so that being said, um, that was my review, short but power, you know, like I told you right, right, bet, right out of the gate, what's what, so you don't have like a crazy amount of stupid information. Um, so I hope this was, I hope this information was good for your body, for your brain cells, so you guys understand, like, all right, what, which, which class to pick. Uh, I, I recommend um the best class to go and also for later game is berserker paladins and if you play with a buddy buddy go dual wield um go dual wield and berserker and if you really 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 want to shine go demon but the best class in the game for me is dual wield the best game class in the game fast leveling everything so and if you want to go a little bit slower about dps go berserker all right <clears throat> i slap <clears throat> i slap a healer uh, pet on it for survivability all right as always hashtag zoe love young legend see you guys soon peace